Hello friends, welcome to another video. So today we are going to see how we can power on bulk virtual machine uh, in the vCenter. So suppose we have a task to where we have to power on hundreds of virtual machines. So uh, manually doing that stuff is uh, really time consuming. So we have come up uh, with a script. So uh, we can use this to power on the virtual machine in the vCenter. Now we have a three virtual machine here in the vCenter. So we are going to try to power on this virtual machine with the script. So this is a script. Uh, here we have set, uh, we have used command state haven power CLI configuration invalid certification, uh, certificate action ignore. So uh, it will not give you any prompt if there is a certification validation is failing or some, some other error with the certification. So it will ignore directly. Here again, we are using the connect hyphen VI server and then the vCenter name. So as the last time I told you, you can just create a vCenter variable and you can give the variable name here. So uh, if you have a one vCenter, like whenever you are running this script with the power uh, PowerShell directly, so uh, every time you have to enter the vCenter name here and automatically it will take, uh, it will give you the prompt. But if you have the one vCenter, you can just type here and it will connect with the credential whatever you are giving here so it will prompt you for the credential and it will connect to the vCenter now here we we are giving the VMs list uh, whatever the virtual machine we have to start we have to uh, give the file name here let me show you how many computers are there okay three computers and the same is here in the vCenter okay now here uh, we have used for each a statement for each virtual machine we are writing the whole so this is the uh, custom message you can uh, write down here anything that you want and then here we are giving the virtual machine name so which action uh, is running on which virtual machine so it will show here so here we have added extra thing uh, foreground color and I have used dark green so whenever uh, there will be a message that okay initiating power on for some XYZ virtual machine, it will show in the dark green color. You can give the red color or something uh, as per your uh, choice. Then we have used here hyphen error action silently continue. So whenever it will give some error in the read mark, right? Uh, it's a boring stuff whenever you are running the script. Uh, even the script is working fine. It will give you the warning messages and that in the red color. So to avoid that, we have to use the hyphen error action silently continue. So it will not give you that error. Here we are using the actual command start vm hyphen vm is called as a vm uh, name the variable which is we have used here then hyphen confirm false so it will not wait for your confirmation it will directly uh, start the virtual machine then here we have used sleep for 10 seconds if you want to use it you can use it but suppose there is a multiple virtual machine like uh, 20 50 or 100 uh, virtual machine then i may suggest you you give the sleep timer so before uh, uh, powering on the next virtual machine it will take some pause for the 10 seconds and it will start the uh, next virtual machine but if you want to uh, uh, at the same time if you want to start all the virtual machine then just remove this so uh, without waiting time it will uh, power on the next virtual machine uh, till the end uh, now this uh, script will only power on the virtual machine and here again we are running the script to get the power status again here so again we have used the for each uh, statement for the virtual machine and here we are selecting the name and the power status and here format table we have selected auto size and here we have used pause command so it will hold that script after the action and we can read the data on it and uh, it will disconnect so whenever we will press any key here it will disconnect the vi uh, server connection to the vcenter so uh, let me run this script and we'll see how it start the virtual machine okay you can see here uh, scope policy and it is saying ignore invalid certification action ignore
you can see there is a wait time so after 10 seconds it will again start the next virtual machine so this is how uh, the script will start all the virtual machine in your vCenter according to your need you just have to edit the text file and you are good to go okay so all the virtual machine has been powered on now we can see here the script it will get the status for that all virtual machine okay you can see here power on now and press enter to continue if we press it will exit the connection through the vCenter so this is how you can power on the bulk virtual machine if you have any queries you can put into the comment box and I'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video